That's the rebounder I told you guys about. That I have in the corner here, but it can't stay here. It's not safe. Okay. And it's irritating me too, because everything's clean and I'm spending hours cleaning everything. And um, I want the coffee table, the end table back here where I could sit on the couch and put a drink. You know what I mean? And the light, to be blunt, okay? So I don't know. I told my mom, you're the one with friends and not me. At least not around here. And we need to figure it out. We need to figure out how to either fix it or toss it in the garbage. Which means just stick it on the shelf. Omar is officially my emotional support animal. It was a formality. The therapist calling me. I already wrote a book, which I'm about to share with you, partially. I'm going to do it in parts, because I looked at the videos I've had on private, and even though I had my computer turned way to the side, it was still showing. Not that I think, I think it would blur anyway, but so what? It, it, it's not the most flattering video anyway, so... I'll just do a video within a video. They work out good. Where I sit there and then I play you what I have on a video. I have to do that once in a while because it shows stuff I didn't want to show. Anyhow. I'm just about finished cleaning up. I switched the bookshelves. I cleaned the, the, the garbage can. With vinegar. I switched over the bookshelves because... One of the bookshelves isn't as nice as the other one, and they're identical. And one, so I put the worst one over by the garbage can. Still have all the stuff all over the table, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm not a naturally clean person. Neither is my mom. But I love when things are clean because. You know, you, know, you know, they don't have to be spotless clean. I mean, I love when they're not cluttered with not whatever that, because it helps with um, my mental issues with not being so anxious. It was a formality. At one point, I'm rambling on and on as I do, because she'd already read the book that I'm going to share with you, and you'll know everything. I said, did you read it all? She's like, yep. Yeah. I'm like, I wrote a book, huh? She's like, yep. Yeah. I didn't know she'd read it all. She did. And so she'd already approved me based on that. And um, at one point, it was only supposed to be 10 minutes, and it had gone over. Um, that was her on the other video, by the way. She called, she called a little earlier. It was supposed to be 11.30. Um, oh, I talked to Joe. That was just a joke thing. He's like, if I had a fire in my house, Laura, I'd say I had a fire in my house. I'm like, I know, but I was just wondering. Joe makes cryptic statements, too. As I've already pointed out to you, my Joe is brilliant. My Joe is very, very intelligent, okay? And he feeds that intelligence by keeping up on everything in the world and everything and just behind-the-scenes crap and under the surface and whatnot. So I won't elaborate. I did want to say I watched um, Nightline, and it had shot at home. And it was about the Botham John thing and, and you know, Amanda Geiger. And, and then the re recent one, 11 Days Later. Um, these innocent people, their homes supposed to be your sanctuary. And they get shot at home by police. But I did not like that guy who shot that a Tatiana, whatever her, her name was, and he could have also killed the seven-year-old nephew. I don't understand, and I even wrote stuff online, why, because I'm just so, everything needs to be locked and closed and whatever, and people say, well, down in the South, they sometimes will do that. I don't know. Nowadays, you shouldn't do any, have your doors wide open like that. But in any case, that fucking cop, Amanda Geiger got 10, Right? 
and she'll probably be 10 years, she'll be honest. He need, he's been charged, he needs to be. First of all, it was not a emergency call. It was a wellness check. Second of all, Instead of, he, he, I think he wanted to kill someone, and we got to see, I got to see his interview on, on his, his, just a brief snippet, but they say, oh, do you, do you think, do you think you kill someone? Oh, yeah, no problem, you know? Well, instead of going to the lighted front door and saying, hey, is anybody home, everyone okay in there? He decides to slink around the back in the pitch dark. I mean, he's looking for fucking trouble. I don't feel bad for him at all. Not one bit. I hope he gets, you know, even his chief of Twitter was like, that's, we watched that, that's ridiculous. It's not a, 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 a crime, it's, it's a wellness check. The rational thing to do is, it's all lit up in the front. You go to the front, hey, is anybody okay? Everybody home? Knock, knock, this is the police. He decides to slink around the back. And then through a closed bedroom window, sees a shadow, sees whatever, and doesn't even give the person, and then he must see a silhouette of a gun or whatever, because she had the right to have a gun, and she thinks it's an intruder, and she's going to protect her seven-year-old nephew and herself, you know what I mean? That is so sickening. I don't like him at all. At all. Amanda Geiger, I mean, at least in that instance, she really genuinely thought that that was her apartment and she feared for her life or whatever. This idiot didn't go to the front lighted front all lit up. It shows that he slinks around in the back to the black. I mean, that's someone looking for trouble. I, I don't even know what his defense, his lawyer is going to come up with the defense. Because at first they tried to paint, say, oh, well, she, she had a, a, a gun or whatever. Yeah. People have a right to have guns and defend themselves and, and when she thought you were an intruder. It's not like you said, this is the police. It's she one hundred percent thought you were an intruder. You know? You didn't say this is the police, drop your weapon. You just said drop your weapon and shot her in split second before she even had a chance to respond. Through a closed bedroom window. I mean sick. That's just sick. sick. Amanda Geiger made mistakes too and, and she's sorry and went up at this idiot. It's not because he's a guy. I also got to see his little police thing where he didn't hesitate for a second. You think, oh no problem. You have any problem killing anybody? No problem, you know. I don't like him. I think he, he intentionally didn't go to the front door where it's all lit up. He was like looking for trouble, slinking around the back to the dark, pitch, the dark, and, the, and it's just insanity. That's insanity what this cop did. He doesn't deserve to be a cop, and he murdered this woman in her home, and he deserves to go to jail for a long time, okay? Amanda Geiger deserved to go to jail, too, and she did. Not as long as some people wanted her to, but... This is just insane. And they don't learn shit. Obviously, it happened 11 days later in the similar area. 11 days after Boston. So this guy learned nothing. It wasn't any kind of, it was a wellness check. I mean, and why am I harping on this now and it's over with? Because it was just on Nightline. I just watched it. I tape Nightlines and sometimes I get rid of them if I don't like them. It tells you in the beginning. I like that it tells you in the beginning. I like that they do that. Inside Edition and Wellness Tonight, I always watch, always. They tell you in the beginning what they are, too, what's gonna, what the thing's going to be. But I like that Nightline does that, and then I can decide, do I want to watch this or just delete it and make room for other crap? Um, so I just watched that a couple of days, so that's why I'm bringing it up. It's called Shot at Home, and, you know, it's this sad as hell. You're doing nothing wrong. You're in the sanctuary of your home, and you wind up shot dead by incompetent police. It's the only word for it. Just like, anyhow, I wanted to point that out what was on my mind. Um, I think I'll just make this 
one video and two other videos where I do video within a video. Video within a video works good. It needs to be when, when I can turn it up loud enough that my mom's not home. Yes, Homer is my emotional support animal. A few months ago, I found out that certain homeless shelters now will accept emotional support animals. I was kind of surprised at that. Not kind of, I was really surprised. out of the way. That's done deal. Almost now my emotional support animal and that means I'm less limited on where I can go. You know. But for now I'm not going anywhere. Walmart refunded the money to my mom's credit card. I still don't think it's going to be over with. I thought they had to talk to her, but they, they just, they're at a standstill. It's ridiculous. I just, everything looks so fucked up. I swear to God, if they, they're not getting the TV back, that's a given, okay? After everything they put us through, they're not getting the fucking TV back. And they don't want it back. So it's not like I'm saying they, if they demanded it back, they'd get it back, of course. They said, our people fucked up, you need to send the TV back. It's not open. But I'm just wondering, all these people, I, now I could go with my mom and we dispute the charge. I have it all in writing. I have it in writing. No need to send back the current TV. We're going to ref, you know, and it's in writing from managers. I'm the manager at so-and-so, so you think the bank? This isn't a credit card that's so a million, this is a bank. You think the bank's not going to, you know... The bank's going to accept that you're disputing the charges legitimately and, and that, you know, if they try to charge my mom again. Hopefully they won't. Hopefully, hopefully they will not, okay? Hopefully they put something in place. But then again, why couldn't they push a button and force the warehouse to say, you know what I mean? They're saying it, it wasn't lost. They, I got so much misinformation. So for all our trouble, we got a $25 gift certificate. And then I started to say before the phone rang, I'm going to use it to, to buy a carbon monoxide thing for this house. I don't know if there ever was. My mom, that's how my mom is, though. Well, of course we have it. You just think you have it. When we had to fix the air conditioner, my mom was at home, and I had someone come here. We're, there's supposed to be a vent somewhere that leads. I'm like, I don't know where it is. Yeah, because my mom had a bookshelf over it. And she had never once cleaned that filter in 10 years or whatever, you know. Yeah. yeah, my mom has a bookshelf over it. That's why I didn't know that that's the air conditioner vent. Because he's like, where's your thing that you have the, the, the thing that can't? I'm like, I don't know. And we found it. It was so disgusting. It had never been changed. It was supposed to be changed like once a year. It had never been changed once since my mom moved in. So her saying, oh, of course we have. We're, okay, Mom. We, you have a carbon monoxide detector here. Where is it? Where is it? My mom's landlord, when she was living there, must have had some kind of inspection happening or whatever because suddenly I was over there one day and he was installing, like, carbon monoxide things, okay? I saw him open it up from the package, whatever. We don't have anything like that here. My mom is that close to show you, you know? The bell stopped working, the doorbell. I never knew what this was, the doorbell. That's a smoke detector that's built into the house. And this has been here forever. It's, it's either a combo or it's one, but whatever it is, it's fucking old. I certainly am not going to say, go, oh, we'll just replace the batteries with that. That's super, super old. I don't even know, that could have, you know, no. I don't know what 
what's going on, but it, I, there's no carbon monoxide. But I'm making a point that my mom's like, of course we do. I know. Because you think things that aren't true, Mom. And I've been thinking for a long time, ever since it was in the news and carbon monoxide, and you see people dying on the TV and, and you know, I mean, featured and, and, and it's awful and whole families and time passes by and did I get my ass and get a carbon monoxide detector? No. No, I did not. I think about it. Especially since we had those dryer people come and claim that thing going on with the dryer, but then they also said Lowe's will never, Home Depot will never, um, none of them will ever come in and sell the dryer without, without, they did, no problem, so that was a lie. Nowadays, too many people bullshit and lie, people, the world's fucked up, and people want money, and people, you know, that guy got convicted, the air he finagled, did you hear about that one? He fucked around with an, he was a mechanic on the airplane to inspect or whatever. He fucked around with shit. And his excuse was, well, I wanted more overtime. I wanted more work. He put a whole bunch of people in danger on the flight. And that was his excuse. That was his excuse. It had nothing to do with a terrorism or domestic. Da, 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 no, he, he wanted more overtime. So he intentionally put people's lives in danger and apparently it's a huge huge crime to fuck with an airplane you know regardless of the reasons you're doing it um thankfully nobody was hurt but you know what i mean i point that out because we all know there are people who are unscrupulous there are people that that you know that, that will just We never did that whole dryer thing that the guy was insisting needed to be done. Because they're not, they're out of cold. But I talked to him a long time and remember I didn't want to have my mom do any of that. I didn't think it was necessary. And things I said of it. And then he was, he was supposed to come personally here and he sent someone else here. You know, and someone else didn't really, didn't have really confidence in that someone else came to, to do the estimate or whatnot and was insisting blah 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 blah. And And I felt betrayed because the guy said he would definitely come here, the one I've been talking to all along, and then he didn't. And I didn't like that either. He sent someone else here that I didn't really care for. And so we never did it. And despite what they had said, they hooked up the dryer, no problem. No. And of course, it's not me that I got pissed as all hell at the whole thing where they sent the same people and then I returned the dryer. So recently we got another one. It had been so long for all I know it was the same people again even though I had said I wanted it from a different different Lowe's to guarantee different people. It might have been the same damn people but neither of us acknowledged if we knew each other. I don't even know matter. I was so sick of it all anyway. So Omar is officially my emotional support animal. I'm living dangerously. I have him in the bedroom, but he did go to the bathroom and then I had him out a couple other times. Two whole days under our belt now. It's going to be a calendar that goes right there. It's not going to announce in case my mom has guests. I'm not having any guests, but my mom might. It's not going to say, oh, these are the days that Omar didn't go to the bathroom on the floor, and these are the days. No, it's going to be discreet. I'll know what it means. I'll just highlight it. 
Um, anyhow. back on either. I'm dreading it because if it, I'm going to be pissed as all hell if it, if it doesn't go back on after I've washed it correctly and then followed their instructions to the T and it's too late to retire. I'm just going to be pissed. Um, apparently now things are a lot because people take advantage. Joe was talking about that woman that had the the, the miniature horse on the plane, and Joe's not, Joe's doesn't like that. He doesn't think that's good. And a lot of people, and, and I said, well, she says she needs whatever. She's like, but horses can take her. Anyway, airlines are cracking down on emotional support, animal things, and now apparently if you're going to fly, because she asked me, are you going to plan to fly? And I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do. She's like, well, airlines require more paperwork now to fly, and, um, that's an extra charge to fill out that extra paperwork, whatever you have to notice, too. I'm like, when did that change? Because I told her three years ago I did all this, and I was planning on using it, planning on flying, planning on whatever, and then it fell by the wayside, but I had planned on it. Um, I didn't tell her, but I've told you guys, anything happens to Omar, I am going to be a basket case. There's no doubt in my mind. No doubt. There's absolutely no doubt in my mind. There are people that are severely, severely affected, have only had their pets for a while. I've had this dog since he was seven weeks old, and he's going to be 13, okay? Of course I'm going to be fucking basket case. Plus, I'm so dependent upon him. She asked, she's like, how does he, how does he, you know, how does he help with your daily, how, what is going on with your daily, and I said, se severe anxiety. Severe anxiety. And then we talked about guilt. I'm like, yeah, I, I, I feel a lot of guilt. I put a lot of my life on the back burner. My mom has a life here and I don't. I said, it's, I need, even though I feel guilty or whatnot, it's a story of my life, anxiety and guilt. And I need to, you know, it's to, I need to have my own life. I can't be just continuously sacrificing my life for my mom. And hopefully she'll be okay, you know. Um, I told her, like, her doctor's aware that I'm planning on leaving and, you know, that it's time for me. There's no life for me here. I was impressed she read everything that I had written. So it was a formality. At one point, she's like, I really have to go, Laura. And she's like, I'm going to approve your, your, your thing. She's like, oh, no, I'm sorry. She's like, I already, I already approved it. Before the phone call, she'd already approved it based on what I wrote. So they just have a new thing where they have to do the phone call. But she'd already decided, which is awesome such a relief that that's over with. It's such a relief that hopefully I'm pretending to not go more and I'm not superstitious like that, but hopefully the Walmart TV thing's over with. You can't say that because you know how you get a certain amount of time to return something and if they fucked up all along so badly, how do I know that when they don't get the TV back as per their instructions, manage a super and you don't have to send it back, that something's not going to fuck up and then they're going to recharge my mom's card. So I have to pay careful attention and I'm not going to let this go. I'm not going to just send the TV back. Okay. If I'm repeatedly told not to and I'm like, at one point I do want to share all my emails that I sent to them with you guys and, and then sum up what they said to me without saying exactly, you know, um, in response, back and forth, back and forth. What a fucking fiasco. My last thing was, I hope you've learned your lesson. You know, there was no need to ever, if that guy to ever tell me, don't send the TV back. I never even heard of the doing that unless it's something small, you know, something small. I know like, like I found out that, that, um, I know Vitaclass changed the thing where if they don't, if something's damaged, they don't want it back and they'll refund you. And I found out Amazon too, cause I 
returned a whole package of something before because again I didn't even care about opening it didn't matter to me I returned the whole thing because the box arrived fucking soaked and I'm not going to tolerate that okay I decided I was going to tolerate that anymore and one of the things in there was was food and sealed and it was would have been fine but I did not open the box the whole thing is don't open the box it's soaking wet just come back and get it all okay and uh, I'm returning the whole thing on printer alone and Amazon didn't want the food back and they just refunded it. I didn't know that. I don't ever order food from Amazon. Once in a blue moon. And that's the only time I'd ever returned it and it wasn't because the food was damaged. It's because I'm not, I'm returning everything to teach these delivery, delivery people a lesson. Stop not putting my stuff in plastic or doing it half-assed or whatever. But an electronic TV, no way. It's not a Christmas present. It's not like we needed to have it right then. Give me another one. I'll send yours back. And then I went through total hell because the guy decided to say, oh, you don't have to send it back. And I said, are you sure? It's probably fine. Oh, well, dry it out. If it works, it works. It doesn't, it doesn't. So nonchalant, so blasé. And then I entered fucking weeks of hell. Bye.